Oh, hey, babe. Uh, I thought we were going down today. Isn't that what we're doing? Uh, I've got it. All we're playing in the SEC Championship game today, aren't they? No. I've got it. It's, it's Christmas. Dishes. Back away from the dishes, and I'll take you to get wine. Founded in 2005, the Corbin family brought a commitment to bringing Central Alabama the finest wines. Located in Calera, Alabama, this winery offers vine wines such as Cabernet, Merlot, Pinot Noir, and many others. They even offer signature Alabama fruit wines including Muscadine, Peach, etc. You'll find games, personalized events, wines, and more at this hidden gem. Hey guys, so this weekend we got a chance to go to Corbin Farms Winery in Calera, Alabama. And uh, we had a really, really, really good time with some friends, Jamie and Alex, that we've brought on a couple of different vlogs with us and we'll be doing some traveling with this year as well. Um, honeymoon. <laughs> yeah, honeymoon Tahiti, yay. <laughs> um, so what, what was your thought? Like first glance, we, we got there and the environment was, it was pretty cool. It was kind of a little hidden gem right off the interstate, but it was also tucked away, so to speak, I guess. Yeah, you can't see it from the interstate. Yeah, so it's something like about five oh, acres nice. of land. It's got, there's horses in the background. You can see the, the winery itself. You can see the vines and stuff over to the side. Um, yeah, when we went, there wasn't any because we went in the winter. I'm not sure yeah. when season is, yeah. but. We're not wine connoisseurs. We don't drink a lot of wine, so we don't really know a ton about it. So we're actually still trying to learn. So if you know when the wine season is and want to tell us when the vines start to sprout, <laughs> please, by all means. <laughs> Put a comment below, <laughs> subscribe, wherever that is, and uh, you know we might respond to you if you subscribe. So, environment off the first glance, it looks like a building with some trees and a, it's got some cool little trucks and stuff out front. Uh, they did have a Corbin. Yeah, were they were pretty cool. They're like old style trucks. Um, had the name of the the winery on it, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, so I was I was pretty impressed by that. I have to give just the overall aesthetic appeal of it a good three out of five, maybe a four out of five. No. Um, I didn't think the building was quite down up enough and you had to walk around the side to get to the front so that was you know I mean but they have a fountain out front and everything it's still very pretty very like home country feel type vibe you could definitely see people having <laughs> there's a fly running around so <laughs> yeah if I'm just like tracing off that's what so it actually looks like a place uh, that you could do weddings private events that kind of thing and they do mention that on I their website think about that. Yeah, you could definitely, uh, it looked like from the website from what I read after doing a little research on it, you could hold events for 
minimum of 10 people all the way up to 300 people in that space. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, if you're looking that's to have, cool. yeah, if you're looking to have a wedding or something, that, that's a pretty cool little thing. So we got a chance to, you know, go inside, even through COVID, they were still doing seating and still taking reservations and allowing people to do wine and food, that sort of stuff. And uh, we got a chance to do a couple of flights. So the flights are four glasses with two ounce pours and they're only $10 for the four glasses. You can choose anything on their menu. They'll take whites, reds, cooking wine <laughs> that he decided to try. It said pumpkin spice and I'm very basic. So I thought that it would be It's a little nice. deceptive. You had to pay attention to the cooking. It's the only one they had. <laughs> like I said, not really a wine connoisseur. Wasn't really sure. Everybody told me after the fact, hey, bro, that's a, it's a cooking wine. Um, as far as cooking wines go, I'd give it a pretty good rating. I would probably rock that into some... No, probably not. Probably not. So, what did you have? To, what did you try? What, what was probably your favorite that you tried from your flight? Oh, uh, I really don't know. Probably the I don't know any names of them, but I like the reds the most. I think I just had like two lights and two reds. Yeah, she had a couple of blends. I think, I think that they had watermelon. They had watermelon that was really good. It was a little sweet, but it was good. I don't remember any names of them. <laughs> So, Amon, I know that the one that we ended up picking and ended up buying a couple of bottles of it yeah. uh, was called Tuxedo Junction. Was I really good. think it's specific to this area. I will find out on that, but I, we haven't been able to find it in stores. It's about $29 a bottle. You can get it on their website, shipped to, from what I understand, every state in the country, you know, depending on how the laws go and all that kind of stuff in your state. But the Tuxedo Junction, the best way I could really describe it is if you had like a chocolate covered raspberry, maybe. Um, I, I think, think that's, it's strawberry. Is it strawberry? I think it's strawberry. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, it tastes it's like a, a chocolate covered strawberry. It's a really, really good wine. It's it's a little on the sweeter side, so maybe if you're not like super into wines and you want to try a red, you know, kind of a good red blend that's yeah. a little bit sweeter, maybe less wine. I don't like wine. spicy, and it was, it was really yeah. just sweet. It's definitely not a dry red. It's more yeah. of a more of a hey. To me, I feel like it would go really good with like a New York cheesecake. Like that would be dominant with that. That would be good. Wine. That would be really good. So she loves it. We picked up a couple of body bottles of it. Excuse me, bottles of it. Red body wine. So you know, uh, we picked up some bottles of it, and she really enjoyed it. And uh, that was probably our favorite out of yeah. the flights. It so. just so happens to be their most expensive, but it's still not too bad. Yeah. If you are a wine connoisseur, they do have some Malbecs there. Um, you know, as we talked about earlier, the different types of wines that they offer. It's a very wide variety. It's a large winery. Um, the other cool thing that was that was there was there was a guy playing music. He was doing all the hits that you can think of. You know the Tom Petty's. The uh, he actually yeah, it was really good. I, I think he did some new stuff. I want to say he did like Scrubs on acoustic or something like that. I don't really remember. But I know he, he did like a newer song that was you wouldn't expect a guy in his mid fifties bald. Yeah. You know, playing the songs, a couple of the songs he was playing, but it was really peaceful, relaxing. Luckily, we did go when it wasn't super like amped up, you know, it was during the day. So the, yeah. the lights. We don't know were... if they do like different people or if he's just known to play there. Yeah. So I don't, they may have different people on different nights. I don't, I'm not sure. So this was our first trip to go there. We are going to go back because one thing that we wanted to do was uh, one of their tours. Now, yeah. pre-COVID, they were offering complimentary tours. Right now, during COVID, they are not. The winemaker wasn't there. We really were kind of bummed because we wanted to see the back and see how all this stuff yeah. works and show you guys. Uh, but we promise that we will eventually go back and, and hopefully have that opportunity as COVID hopefully diminishes enough to where we can open our businesses back up, you know, full steam. Uh, so at, at some point, you'll see us kind of go through that and get that going. Uh, so th those are some of the really, really cool things. We end up going outside. Uh, after a couple of bottles and a couple of flights because it, yeah, it was nice outside yeah, it was a really pretty day uh it's winter in alabama so yeah, a little chilly but they had heaters outside yeah. so heaters? it's still comfortable yeah. like before you before you walk outside to the back they have like a covered porch screened mm -hmm. in area and then you go outside to their main flat outside patio with lights and yeah games and stuff and that was really cool i do want to go back at night because i think the ambiance at night would be just incredible um during the day it was still good like i said weren't a lot of people there but we had a great time we got to play uh cornhole and they had this massive cornhole like you had to launch that thing like 30 feet so i don't know if that's regulation cornhole or not it was uh, far <laughs> they might just have them sitting there i think they were spaced out for social distancing <laughs> uh, there was a connect four like a giant connect four and it was pretty cool uh, we had a good time with that uh, so overall, for the big kids, yeah, for the for the big kids, <laughs> aka us. 
Uh, but overall, we had a good time. Definitely would recommend. Uh, I give the experience, even through the day, with it being a little bit slower, less less people there, yeah. less ambiance. I still give it a four out of five. I can only assume that at nighttime, you're going to have a five out of five experience. The customer service was on point. Yeah. Uh, all the servers were extremely nice, extremely uh, right there, Johnny on the spot. I mean, like, almost to the point where they were bugging us because they kept asking us if we needed anything. It was... Uh, and they do serve food. What did you have to eat? Oh, yeah. I had a... Um, Sorry, I guess I got ahead of myself. We we like did get some food. food. Yeah, it's like little finger. It's wine foods. So if you're looking for a little chicken salad sandwich or a ham croissant or, or something like plate, that, something like cheese that. plates, that kind of thing, you're gonna be able to find it there. I think they did have some desserts. You can find most of that information on their website, um, which we'll post a link below. Uh, with that website, you can learn about them. Um, you know when they started, all that kind of stuff. The people that own it. You can see the menu. You can actually order wine off their website as well. <laughs> we have a lot of friends that were interested in this place. Um, like I said, we've never really been a huge wine couple, uh, but I think after I that, drank the simplest you can get. <laughs> after that, she's really picked up at this Tuxedo Junction, so maybe yeah, we maybe really we started good. something with it. Um, maybe. But it was a good weekend. We had a good time. Uh, you know, we did get the dishes done from earlier, so you know, <laughs> Christmas, all that stuff yeah. is there. So uh, we'll see you at the next turn.